All right, this video is interesting because it breaks into two parts. One part is somebody wrote me earlier today and says, I don't have the right to talk about AMC because I sold my AMC. I'm like, yeah, okay. So going back to June 2nd, if you had the chance to sell out at $72, you wouldn't have done it. And if you say, no, I wouldn't, then you're a moron because AMC is not a, well, I said it, would, it became a cult, but for some people, it's like a religion. It's a stock. It's Wall Street. Relax. We do this for profit. I can talk about anything I want to talk about. That being said, people talk about when am I coming back in? Am I coming back in? Here's the thing. AMC is actually creating an excellent opportunity for me to come in. An incredible opportunity, but it's not the one you think. Okay. Ape is going to climb up. People are going to buy Ape to cover their AMC, yada, yada. I already went over that. Then they're going to have the reverse split. Then AMC is going to sprinkle more shares on top, further dilute, yada, yada. We already all know this stuff, okay? And then people that have a lot of shares, they're going to go, they're going to be consolidated. Then they're going to further dump shares to make the money. I already explained all of that. Once all that's done, and I know those motherfuckers don't have any more shares to drop, and there's no more reverse split, and there's no more ape, at the lowest point, I'm going to hit AMC. Because what's going to happen is once all that's done and they took care of their debt and they dropped all the shares and they did everything and it's all cleaned up and all those wild phantom whatever, whatever's going to happen. I know what's going to happen afterwards. It's going to start climbing back up again because that stock is a darling of Wall Street. And you'll have obviously the buy ins come from the big institutes because it is a traditional type business. Is the business model going to be dead in the future? Absolutely. Do you think I'm wrong on that? You really don't understand business. But I'll explain it to you in one fast way of uh, straight. The difference between, let's say, like a Netflix and an AMC, they both show movies. Here's the difference the Netflix is at home, it's on demand. And on top of that, Netflix also produces movies. So Netflix is not only like a AMC inside your home or inside the airplane or in your hotel room or in the backseat of your, of your vehicle for your kids. It's also a movie studio. It does production. So it does production. So it makes money on both sides and it has a subscription based model. So it makes money showing movies and making movies and it has series as well. And they're switching over to an advertising model as well. And they don't have that up, you know, the cost ongoing as an AMC. So long term streaming will win, just like retail versus stores versus Amazon. You can't, you can't. We're different people now. Everything is on app. I did some shopping today. I didn't go to a store. It was all, all on my phone. I mean, everything is going that way. There's nothing you can do about it. Even Ford is getting rid of car dealerships. You're going to order, you're going to order online. That being said, after the whole reverse split, merger, sprinkling of shares, AMC coming in, oh, we didn't mean to sell, but we need the money. After all that craziness is done, then I'll take a stake in it because that's what's going to happen going up. Listen, they're going to be cleaned up. They're going to have cash. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. It's perfect. But in my opinion, they're going to screw it up again and get into massive debt. Because that's what AMC is. It's just a cash cow to get into debt. That's all it is. That's all it is. So if you want to know when I'm, I'm coming back in, oh, I'm coming back in. But I ain't coming up for the run up of eight, which it will do. And AMC as well, because AMC, I listen, I still might take a, I still make the, the Cobra. I might do that. But as far as buying and holding, not during this scenario. Not for me, because... Me entering in to do that now is too many things. Especially, you got to make your money in between. So, as far as me hitting one of the stocks, you know, for a bump up, I'll do it. But I know what's my entry and my climb up. It's going to be after the mayhem, and the mayhem is coming. So, I support everybody that's in the stock. Of course I do. So I'm trying to tell you what it is. I am going to benefit from this mayhem because 
after seeing all the re recent reverse splits, after understanding the AMC business model, after just knowing all this stuff, I'm like, that's my safe spot. That's what I'm going to do. So am I going to be involved in it? Yes, I am. But just in a different place. You know, and you're going to be in a different place than me or you're going to be with me. It doesn't matter. As long as you, you know, understand, like, there's a reason why I'm talking about AMC now. Because I see my opening. I see my opening. It's going to make me money. So just be safe with that play. That's all I'm saying. Because it ain't like no other play. That's it. Johnny Love.